Hi everyone! Several days ago I created a quick poll in the community tab of my YouTube channel asking you what is the next video that you would like to see. And the winner is Power Automate, but also SharePoint has got many votes. First of all, I want to say a big thank you for your answers. This gave me the chance to prepare properly my next videos. Now, in this video, according to your answers, I will talk about Power Automate, more specifically, how you can use Power Automate to save forms data into a SharePoint list. Okay, let's jump on my PC. Here I am on my PC, I am on office.com. I'm going to open Microsoft Forms because I will create a survey about my YouTube channel, then I will get every response and through Power Automate I will store every response in a SharePoint list. This is the process that I want to realize. In the left pane, let me go over Forms and let me click on the icon. I am still on office.com, here I can easily create a new form, but I want to really land on Forms, then I will click on the button and link my Forms, and now I am on forms.office.com, and here I can start the creation of my survey. I will click on the button New Form. So let's start to set the title, and this would be Giuliano YouTube Survey. A short description, and then I can start to create my survey. It's time to add the first question. I'm going to click on Add New, then this would be a choice question, and let me add the question, how you evaluate the content of Giuliano's YouTube channel. Amazing. Good, let me add an additional option, not bad. And finally, last option that would be bad. I'm going to click on add new. This would be an open question. And how you evaluate the content of Giuliano's YouTube channel. Again, add new, and this time will be a rating question. Please provide your rate below. Another open question. What kind of content you want to see more in the future? And finally, the last one, which is always an open question. Write your email below to be informed about next videos. Okay, my survey is ready. Let me change now some setting here. I'm going to click on the ellipses button, then settings. The option is selected on only people in my organization can respond, this is good, and then one response per person. Okay, all good from a sex things perspective. My survey is ready. I am now in Microsoft Teams and I have here a team called YouTube. Here in the general channel I will create a Microsoft list. In order to do that, I will click on the plus button in order to add a new tab and then all lists. Here, I'm able to define the name of this list. Now I can click on the button save. I can rename this list and I will call it YouTube Survey. Now I can save and I can start to create my list. I'm going to click on the button create a list. Here I will start from scratch, then blank list. The name of this list would be the same of the name of my tab, YouTube survey. Then let me select a color, this one. All good, I will click now on create. Now I have to structure this list properly in order to save every response coming from Microsoft Forms. Let me click on the first column, column settings, rename, and this is the first column where I have to save the first answer, which is evaluation, save. I'm ready with the second one. This is a single line of text, and this is the content, save. Let's go with the third one, single line, again, of text. This is the rate. Another column, always single line of text. This is future content, save. And finally, the last one, which is always a single line of text, and this is email. Let me save. Okay, my SharePoint list is ready. I can jump in Power Automate now. 
I am back on office.com. I'm going to click on the waffle menu because I have to jump in Power Automate. I have to create my flow here. Then I will click on the button Create in the left pane in order to start the creation of a new automated cloud, cloud flow. Let me now select the trigger and in the first position I have exactly what I need. You can even filter this list of trigger by typing inside, for example, forms. And now I have in this first position, as before, when a new response is submitted. And this is a Microsoft Forms trigger. This is exactly what I need. Then I will select this and I'm going to click on the button Create. As a trigger, I have this first step. Here I have to specify which form will trigger my flow. I will click on the, this drop down and the name of my form is Giuliano YouTube Survey. Here we go. Next, I'm going to create an, a second step because I have to get the answer. I have to get the response. So let me type again forms in the search bar so I can filter for Microsoft Forms. And here I have the action that I need. Get response details. Clicking on that one drop here the second step and now I have to provide again the form ID that as I said before is Giuliano De Luca, Giuliano YouTube survey. Next, very important, I have to provide the response ID and this comes from the first step so I can assign this response ID. Now I'm ready to create an additional step in order to save the survey response in my SharePoint list. Here in the search bar I can filter for SharePoint and now I have to search the action create item. Here we go. I have create item now. So let me start to add the URL of my SharePoint site. I don't see the right URL of my SharePoint site. In that case I have to click on enter custom value. And now I can paste the right URL of my SharePoint list. Then the list name YouTube survey, it is the right one. And now I have all columns that I've just created before. Here in the title, I will add this answer, how you evaluate the content of Giuliano De Luca. Here we go. Then let's go with the second one. Then I have, I have this other answer. I can provide now the response for rate. And this is the question. Please provide your rate below. Future con content. What kind of content you want to see more in the future. And finally, the email. Responders email, email address of responder who submitted the form. All good. Now I have every variable for every column. I can save my flow. Now it's a good idea also to assign a name to this flow and this would be YouTube survey. Here we go. Now theoretically everything is automated so I can jump back. Well, I have to save again because I changed the name of this flow and now I am ready to test this flow. But before to do it, I'm going to jump again on office.com. I'm going to open forms because I have to get the URL of my form. Giuliano YouTube survey. This is the right one. Then I will click now on the button send. I will select a shortened URL. I will copy. Now I can send this URL to my colleagues. Here I am now connected as Adele Events. I can start to fill out this form. How you evaluate the content of Giuliano? Let me select good. Let me go with the first response that I have to provide. I like the content of this channel is clear enough. Let me rate now with four stars. What kind of content you want to see more in the future? I have here already prepared my answer. And finally, my email, which is adelevance at giulianodemo.microsoft.com. I can submit this form now. Finally, I can jump on 
Power Automate. I am now connected as Giuliano De Luca. Let me go back because I want to see if the history now is updated of every run. Here we go, I have this run. Let me go in. Now here I can explore every step of my flow. I can see get response details. And here we go, I have every response provided by Adele Events. And finally, in the last step, every response is saved in the SharePoint list. Now, to be sure that everything has worked as expected, let me open Teams and the tab YouTube survey where I created my list. And here we go. I have the response of Adele events here in this list. As you can imagine, this is very powerful because I have every data now stored in the SharePoint list and I can use even another Power Automate flow that trigger when I have a new item created in the list. I can send an email to the user or I can uh, trigger another, another process. Okay, we have seen in this quick tutorial how to save forms data using Power Automate in a SharePoint list. If you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more video like this one, please subscribe, like and comment. I hope to see you next time. Bye.